In the heart of Ghana, at the solemn grounds of the Elmina slave castle, a place that holds the weight of unimaginable suffering, a disturbing scene unfolded. A group of African-American ladies, oblivious to the history that enveloped the very air they breathed, began to engage in a disgraceful act, twerking. Doing this at a slave castle? Hmm. Anger surged through my veins as I witnessed this abomination. How could they be so callous, so disrespectful to the souls of our ancestors who suffered in this place? Elmina Castle stands as a haunting reminder of the horrors inflicted upon our people during the transatlantic slave trade, a symbol of the pain and anguish that has scarred generations. With each provocative sway, those women trivialized the suffering of millions. They reduced the significance of this sacred ground, where men, women, and children were brutally torn from their homeland, shackled and dehumanized, their spirits crushed under the weight of oppression. Their actions disrespected the countless lives lost and the countless tears shed within these walls. It was as if they were ignorant of the historical significance, or worse, indifferent to the pain that echoed through the centuries. Did they not understand the gravity of this place? or did they simply not care? I struggled to comprehend how anyone could be so thoughtless, so utterly lacking in empathy for the struggles our ancestors endured. The dance they performed was a slap in the face, a cruel mockery of the suffering endured by African people throughout history. They pranced and gyrated, their movements devoid of any reverence or understanding. It was a profanity against the memory of those who had endured unimaginable agony, who had fought and sacrificed for the rights and dignity that we possess today. The Elmina Slave Castle was meant to be a place of reflection, a place to honor the memory of those who suffered and perished. Yet, these women chose to treat it as a stage for their self-indulgence, a platform to seek attention at the expense of the countless souls who had been mercilessly stripped of their humanity. I found solace in the voices of our ancestors. In their whispers, I heard their pain and their disappointment. They cried out from the depths of history, demanding respect, demanding remembrance. The actions of those women may have left a bitter taste, but they also ignited a fire within me, a fire to educate, to remind others of the significance of our shared history. We must ensure that future generations understand the sacrifices made and the struggles endured. Only through education and empathy can we honor the memory of those who suffered and strive to build a world where such atrocities are never repeated. May the spirits of our ancestors find solace and may their memory be forever respected. And these ladies need to apologize to the people of Ghana and souls sold and lost to slavery.